Hey YouTube, this is called Stu. Just uh, throwing up a story about how to do some custom street signs and working with Vanishing Point. If you can, please subscribe to my channel. I try to throw up a new video every day, and also go check out my blog at scarchclothing.blogspot.com. Cool. So just go edit, paste, and assign a, a picture of a street sign that you want. And then we're gonna come in here, and we're gonna take our clone stamp tool to get rid of this uh, street sign. And we'll go right there to get rid of the street sign right here. So just click Alt and then pick a spot where you want to sample it from. And then just tell it to sample from there. It's kind of hard when you just have a small space to work with, but once you get a bigger space, then it's a lot easier. And this uh, this clone stamp tool is used a lot in uh, imperfections on the face and just like facial um, fixing up, touching up. So this does get kind of tedious, but it's still pretty cool. And it's a really easy way to get something to go erase something on a solid background or on a you know semi-solid background. Cool. doesn't look too bad. You can see here that we have a couple black spots just here and there so we can fix those. Not too bad. Cool. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a new layer. Oops. We're going to come down here. Here we go. We're going to make a new layer. And we're going to take out our type tool and just type in the name that you want. And College two, except you want it to be full. You want it to be all in the same line. And then we're going to highlight this, and we're going to click our color picker tool. And I'm going to come out here to the avenue and just uh, pick pick the avenue color because that's pretty much you know the color that we want since it's all the same. And then we'll click en uh, Control Enter, and then we can um, right click on the layer and then say Rasterize Type, which is just make it so you can work with it as a layer. <clears throat> and then we'll select it, and then we'll click Control X, which will cut it. And I'll go up to here to filter vanishing point. And then as you can see here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out this plus create plane tool and we're gonna click on the corners of the area that we want. And it starts to drag out this blue line right here, and we'll click on the corners of the area we want, and it'll adjust it mathematically and it'll know it'll understand like what you want and it'll pull it out. And see, so I just click here to the corners of the green and I go okay, and then it creates this plane to look at. I'm going to go control V and I have my college toot right here and I'm just going to drag the college toot down until it comes and then over this wall and you can see it just pops up right here and so it's not exactly what I want so click control T to transform it and then just work with it right here doesn't look too bad looks all right cool I like it so you click OK and then there you go, college dude's just right there hanging out. Next thing we're gonna do is this one's pretty dark, pretty uh, you know, it's it's pretty dark. And so I don't think I'll use the clone stamp tool on this one. I think that I will take my quick lasso tool and make sure this layer is selected. And then come over here, but we want to not select this white part. And so just click Alt and then go over this white part with your quick selection tool, and it'll quickly get rid of that part. This is just a very rough too, by the way. You like there's better ways of doing this, more precise. And then we'll come over here. And we will just get rid of that right there. Cool. So we have this area selected, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go image, adjustments, levels. And then this this pretty much just turning it black right there. And so it just takes it all away but this is a little too black for my liking and so I'm going to come down here to create new or adjustment layer and I'm going to go solid color and so you can see what it does right there and so I want a green type but I want a really really dark green super dark and so it looks almost convincing so there's there it is right there and then but you see this is this right here is a little oh you can merge these two if you want you probably should um, these two they're a little too um, 
it's a little too solid color for me and it doesn't look uh you need to add some imperfections in so you go up here to um artist and then you play around with the one that you want i was found it finding one earlier i want this film grain just right here and you can see that it uh fixed it right there so you go okay and so you can see that it uh added some imperfections and then one last thing i want to do i'll just select this right here and then i'll go filter blur and then yeah and so i just regularly did filter blur and so just uh mix the colors a little bit together all right cool so we'll deselect that next thing we're going to do is create a new layer and then have our type ready and whatever we want to type out whatever uh street name we want let's do california actually no did you know that the actually yeah that the most popular street name in america is second street by the way second street cool can highlight this and That's uh yeah we'll just we'll just do second right now because I don't want to mess around with the streets. Go okay, and then we'll, then we'll rasterize this. Select it, cut it, and we go filter, vanishing point, and then we'll take our add add plane tool and just do our corners. Go okay, and then we'll paste and then we'll bring this down, and there's our second street just right there. Then we'll go Control T to transform. And you see, even if you pull it aside, it'll keep it um, in perspective with what you want. And you go, okay. Doesn't look too bad. And so that's right there. But that's a little, that's way too bright for that background. So we're just going to bring down the opacity. And then, yeah, so there you go. And so that's a tutorial about how to use custom street signs. And so if you have any questions, just message me and uh, we can take care of them. Please subscribe to my channel to check out new videos and go check out my blog at scarsclothing.blogspot.com. Links in the description. Have a good day. Bye.